And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the San Francisco Giants. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. First pitch coming up and our pitcher in this game Logan Webb how about a scouting report on him well he's been a very dependable starter for his club and what stands out for me is that left handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball maybe it's the maybe release point the maybe way. it's the motion the but just some way somehow the they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Why to kick the pitch? This one lifted in the air, left field. Pulls it in for the out. And a quick out, number one. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Luis Robert. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly. So watch out when he ah. steps in. Luis Robert stands in oh, now wow. and watches strike one. Misses there, and that's ball two. Line drive, come on! That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Ben Tandy up here. Really strong hitting performance recently, batting over 300 so far this month. Swing and a pop up. He's got it, and that is that. Nothing doing for the White Sox. Now it's the Giants' turn. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in San Francisco, and today's starting pitcher, Tuki Tucson. Well, oh, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball down. games. And at this That's point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Tyler Fitzgerald, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And a curve misses outside. To the right side, Baldwin. To first, one up, one down. Here's the Giants lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Grant McCray. Well, so far slugging over 600 and he really attributes that to the work he gets done in the cage pregame. He's got a unique set of drills that he swears by and we're seeing the success of it so far. Mark Ken batting with one down takes a strike. No one strike. One out base is empty. That one finds the zone. 0 oh, 2. Quickly into an 0 oh, 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because oh. you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Oh. 
One, two now. On the ground, right side, Baldwin. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Batting third, the designated hitter, Elliot. Two outs, bases empty. Here's Elliot Ramos. There's a strike. Oh one. Close, but called a ball. And okay, that's ball one. Ball, Just no. missed. Checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. No swing. He held up. Carl Dixon with the call there. Two outs, bases empty. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. It's a good sinker ball pitcher, and it's and he chases that one. Giants go in order. Giants go down quietly. We played an inning. No score. Back here at Oracle Park, Andrew Vaughn now. Webb, 6 1 righty, 220 pounds, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2014. No ball, one strike. Outside, and now it's even one and one. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like he kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Yeah, I think that's Two fair. Ball. I don't One think strike. he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. Pitch is in for a strike. Two and two. Kicks and fires. Ground ball right side. Canna takes it himself and quickly won away in the second. That's it. The first base is Gavin Sheets. So up next, Gavin Sheets. That clips the corner. Second inning here, no score. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Ball Just ball. misses. And a count one, one and two. two it's a good take. Oops. Got him looking. Two gone now. That is it. The Here's Corey out. Lee, Corey. known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That no, one misses, no. and the count is one and one. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a two-bagger. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And it's second here with two away. Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the White Sox. No, Inside just missed. Right. 
next pitch in for a strike and it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. Runner at second, two down. through around third the throw in it's offline the run comes in puts around the board and picks up an RBI just kept it simple played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down so digging in Dominic Fletcher The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Out towards right center field. Dives. What a play. Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go hit. And we're back. We go now. now Matt Chapman. The third baseman. Matt Chapman. The pitch. Inside. Missed inside with the curve. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Outside. Just off the outside edge. And now 2-0. Oh. Just ball. missed. Rio. And he walked him on four pitches. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. Yeah, that that last one. Down. Didn't even threaten the zone. Oh, yeah. You might want to go talk to him. Here's the left fielder. That one misses. That's five straight. One ball. No strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And he deals. Right through there for a strike. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And another ball. Going to lay off that pitch down. 2-2. Two, two. Up the middle, and he can't come up with it. And he's going to make it to first, and we'll see how they score. That is good. The right here. Mike. Right there. comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Ah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the no left-handed hitter. One strike. Base hit into the outfield. They won't test it here. Base is loaded. No outs. Love how he left that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going out there. And digging in for San Francisco, Casey Schmidt. Golden opportunity right here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. 1-0. Chapman on third. Yastrzemski at first with no outs. That one down the line. Vargas 
Off balance feed. There's one. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killer. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double plays kind of a rally killer. Here's Kirk Casale. This one smoked out to left. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We head on now to the top of the third. All tied 1-1. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. Ball and now the rookie second, second baseman, baseman, Brooks Baldwin. 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 Webb back to work. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Oh, two. Towards first, and he That's picks right. it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Kicks and deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Bowen Chew down. Fights it off, you'll see another. And here it comes. This to third. And it gets by him. The bat out of the lead. Nikki. Nikki Lopez up to the plate. Oh. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. And he's back in on a dive. Left hand batter waits. Slow roller to first. Canna over to second. Return throw to the pitcher. It gets away. That was going to be a really tough one to turn two on. So a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. And now it's Luis Robert. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch misses. Righty delivers. Wouldn't Two chase up. that time. Two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Good hitters count the 2 0. -oh. No. And there's a ball. Three ball, no strike. And that one clips the corner. Man at first, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Good okay. approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Got him looking. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Andrew Benintendi steps up. 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. 
Two on now with two oh, away. Oh, everything oh. came together oh, for him. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that oh. one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. Grounded out his first time. Ball. Missed with a changeup. Ball one. First and second, two down. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike one. one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Off the mark there. And a count two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, two outs. Ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. At the belt and fires. Up the middle. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. He decides to hold on to it, and they can't get the out. Two outs. Bases full. And up next for Chicago, Gavin Sheets. He's 0 for 1. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Tied up here in the early going. To the right side, Schmidt throws the first in time. Out to escape a bases-loaded jam unscathed. And the White Sox will strand three. Score remains tied, 1-1. Here in San Francisco at the play. Grant McCray. And a pitch. Clips the corner. Going along. That misses off the outside edge. Skips in the dirt. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. That oh, one yeah. just missing inside. Three and two down. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Chopper right side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a call That's strike good. before he takes the bat off the shirt. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. And now, Tyler Fitzgerald. Ball, ball one there. No. This is one of those situations defensively no where you can't try to do too much. you got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. McCray, the board here at first with nobody out. That delivers outside. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. In the air, right field. That one gets down for a hit. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. 
just a nice job oh, coming through in a pretty high yeah. leverage spot. Oh, right oh. Recognized the break on yeah. that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front row breaking balls, but a great job right there of letting it travel, then unloading a nice balanced swing. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Mark Canna, the next giant to hit. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one, and a run scores on the double play. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Now it's the Giants DH, Elliot Ramos. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. No, that's a ball. Too low. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Ripped on the ground a second, tosses the first, Out. gets him easily, ends the inning. So it's one run on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Three innings complete. It's the Giants two and the White Sox one. Start of the fourth, now the it's the White Sox catcher, catcher. Corey Lee. Corey Lee. The right-hander back to work. Breaking ball through there for a strike. You know, these White Sox did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a oh, little anxious. And next to hit for the Sox, Miguel Vargas. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Right ah. through there for a strike. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. The White Sox trailing by a run. Top half of inning number four. Right down the chute, and it's 0-2. Got him swinging. Sure, what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still right on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. On the ground, the first, Canna. He takes it himself Ow. to the bag, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And our score remains 2 1. Bottom four, Liga. and here Liga. is Liga. Matt Chapman. The third baseman, Matt. Matt Chapman. And the pitch. And no. that's down it away. That one finds the zone, and the count even at one. That strike right there. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now the left fielder reached on an infield single his first time. Garnacchio. 
Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Robert calls it in two away. The right field, number five. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for San Francisco, Mike Yastrzemski. And he's already singled in this game. And that's off the inside edge. 1 and 0. Oh. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle, Baldwin. That's the third out. out, inning over. No runs, no hits, no errors. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Giants two and the White Sox one. We go to the top of the fifth. Now, Brooks Baldwin. Webb back to work. Wouldn't chase that time. You know, One these out. White Sox need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Oh, That's it. Yeah. That's strike two. Yeah. And another ball. And a pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. No. Next one is off the plate. And it's a full oh, count. Yeah. Good plate oh, appearance yeah. there. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk really after a long at bat. When you go Good that deep play. into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Yeah. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. So up next for Chicago, Nicky Lopez. Throw over to first. Baldwin oh, back in a dive. Strike one. No ball. One strike. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Gets there. He's under it. Puts it away for the out. Luis Robert now. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Webb picks over and he dives back in safely. Last uh -huh. ball for a strike. Hater deals. Missed with a changeup. Gonna count one and two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And the righty deals. On the ground, left side. Six, four, three, double three. And the inning is over. 
They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back here at Oracle Park, Park. John Chomby with my buddy Chris Singleton. Okay. And set to get us started. Bottom five, Casey Schmidt. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a foul ball. And he'll one. Way out front for strike two. You know, that's a swing you'll see a lot against a good sinker. Just right over the top. Tough to borrow that up. Just off the outside part of the plate. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Two, two. That misses the zone. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Got him. He's One out. away on the strikeout. Now that. The catcher. Kirk. Kirk. Here's the catcher. Kirk Kasali. Kasali, 35 years old, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2011. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty. One away. Last half of inning number five. That misses and one and one. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try oh, to move it around, man. create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Up next, next guy. Two outs, bases so empty. Seven. Grant McCray right. now at the plate. The walk Not and a run right. scored his first time. Ball and that one. one missing low. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. The line of the pitch. And that's outside. Two outs. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Nothing doing there for San Francisco, but they still lead it two to one. Top of the sixth Leading inning. There's been a tendy to start it off. The pitch. No. And that's off the inside edge one ball, ball one. Strike. that one called just inside I think and on the mound he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation doesn't seem to be too bothered by it though but he clearly thought it clipped the corner slap the other way foul on the ground right side Schmidt in plenty of time to first now one gone in the top of the sixth And next will be the cleanup hitter, Andrew Vaughn, one for two. That one fouled off. White Sox down to run, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Ball. And downstairs. One, one. Swing and a drive, deep right field. 
dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Now around second, going for third. The relay throw. He's safe hey, at third, and the up. tying run is 90 feet away. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So one gone with a runner at third. And now the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. The pitch. Strike two. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Taylor Rogers getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Hicks getting loose as well. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Now here is Corey Lee. This one in the air right field, and it drops in. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. So up next, Miguel Vargas. That misses the zone, and it's one to know. Lee off of first with two away. Check on the runner. Lee back in on a dive. Righty to the plate. Ground ball left side, and it's off the bag. And they get the out after the ricochet. That's the third out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. 2 2 game. Bottom of the sixth inning, and the batter will be the shortstop, Tyler Fitzgerald. The pitch. And a swing and a miss there. Moving in the bullpen. Jonathan Cannon getting ready to go. Crochet getting cranked up as well. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Canna in the box now. No balls in a strike. He's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Bounce to the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that quickly, now two bad. away. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. So now the DH spot, Elliot Ramos. That 
that misses. Yeah, that's ball one. one. Call a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. His 18th home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 3-2. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Del no, Blue, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead... Batter gets rewarded, did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Chapman Ball. stands in now, looks at that one inside. Two down, nobody on. And that's in the dirt. Ball two. Toussaint. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, ball, guys, they ball. can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Yeah, there's ball, ball, ball. four. Make your base. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base oh, with a quick free pass. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Tuki Tucson won't go any further, and a decent effort considering he's normally a reliever. Back with the new pitcher in a minute. New pitcher for the White Sox, Jonathan Cannon. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the left fielder. Slider clips the zone. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? Well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Two outs. Bounced out to short. They get the force. That's the inning. It's a run for the Giants on the solo blast. It's now a 3-2 ball game. And we're back. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. The wide to kick the pitch. In for a strike. Going one. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Next one, offering two. way off the plate. Rarely will you see a pitcher just waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Oh. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Brooks Baldwin. Foul ball there. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's oh. a little bit low. White Sox down a run here in the top half of inning number seven. 
high fly ball out to center field. McCray moving under it. Two down. The batter number eight. Now it's the shortstop, Nicky Lopez. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. And that one is in for a strike. That's the third. Into the outfield base hit. So Luis Robert now gets a chance with two gone. Just found a way to slot that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Logan Webb won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Jordan Hicks comes on now. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. And now the center fielder, Luis Robert. Right through there for a strike. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Two outs. Rip towards third. And that'll do it. So one left for the White Sox. They're down three to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. 1-1. One, one. And a rope in the center field base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. To the batter down, the Casey Schmidt. And yeah, that's outside. One ball ball no one. On the ground to the left. Foul. And that's just foul. Yastrzemski on at first. Nobody out. And that's downstairs and outside. Now all leave it up. In the air, right side. Fletcher on the move. He's got it. And there's one down. It's going to be Kirk Casale. Look at Kirk. 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 chopper to third. Vargas. One at second. Kirk. And that's two. Ow. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Giants three and the White Sox two.
We go to the eighth. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Hicks, a righty that throws with power. 27 years old, and he was a third-round pick back in 2015. That's, That's off the mark. 1-0. and oh. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Tyler Rogers up and throwing. Number 74, warming up as well. even up one ball one strike swing and a miss one ball two strikes Right-handed reliever. Two, two. Back foot Three. slider ties him up, struck him out. Pretty good strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any lead on base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. So here's the cleanup hitter, Andrew Vaughn. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And deals. Ball. One, two. That's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Two, Next two. offering misses down and away. down base is empty okay. pitch misses there and now three and two Gavin Sheets up next for the White Sox trying to hold a one run lead and we're at the top of the eighth Hit hard on the ground ashore. Fires across the diamond. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. Now, now, if you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff, just like we saw. Tyler Rogers into the game. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. And up next for Chicago, Gavin Sheets. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. 0 and 2 now. Ball one. And that one is inside ball one. On the ground is short. Fitzgerald. Over to first. And the White Sox go quietly. Down in order go the White Sox. And it's still a 3 2 ball game. Here's the center fielder, Grant McCray. 
Yeah, the right hander back to work. And ah. that's in for a strike. Ball. Slider misses outside. 1-1. One, one. The pitch. Out towards left center. Touches down. That's a hit. And now the shortstop, Tyler Fitzgerald, one for three. Ball to start him off at strike one. McCray gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Shortstop takes the ball. Right hander kicks deals on the ground. Dive and he's got it. Fires to first. Throw his left and he can't pick it. Well, that one right there had the looks of one of those plays of the week. Great diving stop, but he just couldn't set up to make a good throw. Maybe got a little too excited. He was probably feeling it as well, but either way, that's a tough play and a tough air. Here's Mark Canna. Three ground outs already. He's 0 for 3. And a sack bunt here. Vargas. And that's an out on the sacrifice. Boom, that's a good at bat simply because they found a way to move both runners up a base. Now they're in a really good spot with two runners in scoring position. Elliot Ramos, the next giant to hit. He's already homered here in this one. You have to stay disciplined in these at bats. Try not to chase. A strikeout here is the last thing you want. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Ball. That misses the zone. Ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Right yeah. through there for a strike. And a foul ball. Second and third, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Down the right field line and a base hit. One run is in. Now two runs score. And they lead by three. Round second, digging for third. The relay, close play, but in there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. from close here and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Runner at third with one gone. Matt Chapman, the next giant to hit. 
This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Now that left fielder. Now the left fielder. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And now the lefty. That pitch clips the outside corner. That is strike two. Activity in the bullpen. Cleveland Lewis. The left-handed reliever appears to be getting loose. Rudder at third. Two away. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But they pick up a pair here, both coming on this two-run triple. Last chance coming up here for the White Sox. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, number 74. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Now, here is Corey Lee. And the pitch. That one misses, and that is ball one. hit up the middle and the leadoff man aboard having himself a really nice game at the plate that pretty now much split that. the zone They're down the middle big. and those are the they ones go. where you got to make them pay and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion man at first and next to hit for the Sox Miguel Vargas Fight. and that's in there at the knees for a strike no one strike is off the play and the count one even ball. one and one, one. and that one fouled off yeah. swings through that and it's a strikeout and a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. The right He's two outs away. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Now move to first. Lee back easily. Ball two. In the dirt. Two ball. One strike. Nice job behind the plate there. The White Sox trailing by three here at the top of the night. Righty delivers. Gets it, misses. It's a strikeout. 
Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch yeah, after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back strikeouts. So, well, they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Ball one. Stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And the 1 0. There's the swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. The 1 1. And the White Sox down to the final strike. The White Sox down to their final strike. Ah! Swing and a miss, and he got him. Ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.